What's up guys, Kicksburg back again with another shoe review. Uh, today we'll be taking a look at Ronnie Fogg's collaboration with New Balance on the 1600. This shoe's been nicknamed the Daytona, um, which kind of reflects his uh, childhood background of going to Daytona Beach with his family. Um, I think this shoe turned out great. So the way I was able to get this shoe, I didn't actually pick it up on Black Friday. If you didn't see my previous video, you should go check that out. Um, but I talk about I got the pre-order option, which uh, I thank Ronnie for a lot. So yeah, I did get a pre-order on this, and uh, the price was $175 with $12 shipping. And let's just get right into it. So first off, guys, one of the things that makes this kind of a Kith exclusive, and will be limited to the pairs that came from Kith, because I believe there will be other pairs releasing uh, for a wider release, but uh, I don't have any information on that. I'll get that to you guys as soon as I know, though. So, uh, like I was saying, one of the things that uh, Stance does with Kith is they make a super invisible or just like a really low cut sock. Um, it's I don't think they sell them outside of the Kith collaborations. I haven't seen any. Let me know if you have. Uh, they they fit pretty well. They're really like low cut. I'm I'm gonna show you how actually how they fit later in the video. Um, because I had no idea like how low cut they were, so I'm just going to show you in case you're wondering. You know, you want to order a pair off Kit's site or whatever. So uh, here they are. They're you know navy whatever. Um, they came. This is the packaging they came in. Kit uh, branding on it with the. It's kind of altered uh, New Balance Kit. Uh, these socks are made out of cotton, spandex, nylon, and elastic. Uh, they retail for $10 on their website, on Kith's site if you're looking. Uh, they're really nice, they're really soft and comfortable wear. You hardly notice that you're wearing them. Uh, but they are really low cut. So, to get into it, uh, came with one each obviously. They're, they're the same exactly. So I'm just going to set this one aside. But, um, yeah, so you can see here, you have the Kith branding right there, the altered Oh, sorry, it's upside down. <laughs> um, you have the altered Kith branding, uh, New Balance branding. You have your pink stripes with your Stance logo. Uh, this is like embroidered in. You can't really feel it, so don't worry about that. Um, and then on the back you have New York City, which, uh, yeah, they're really simple, but they look really good. They go along with the shoe pretty well. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to pick up the high top socks. I did like those quite a bit, but um, I don't know, maybe if I'm looking to buy anything, you know, after Christmas or something with some money and uh, buying it off a kit, maybe I'll throw those in. I did have the Volcano socks with my other orders. You can still get the Volcano socks, too, if you're wondering. Uh, they're pretty cool, like different colors, geometric pattern type thing. So yeah, uh, but let's get into the thing everyone's wondering about, the shoe. Alright guys, here it is. The New Balance box. Uh, this is my first pair, pair of New Balances, like, ever. Uh, I had some running shoes. But uh, first pair of retro runners from New Balance. I do have another pair of Nike retro runners. Oh, well, I don't know if you call them retro runners, but you know, Nike runners, um, that retro style, vintage, whatever. Um, and I like those a lot, so this is a pretty easy grab for me. I got these in a nine and a half. I kind of could have gone nine. I didn't know my sizing on these. They're just like a tad bit big. So yeah, let's just get into it. Uh, open it up. And here it is. So here we go, guys. Uh, here's the shoe. I'm gonna get let you get nice up and close. I'm gonna have some detailed shots at the end of the video, so you can really see. But uh, so here, on the toe box, we have this. Uh, I believe it's oily pigskin suede. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, yeah. So this is a perforated uh, pigskin suede. It's actually really nice once you get it you know, warmed up. Um, you can't really see the perforations on this part, but on the rest of the shoe you can really see the perforations. It's all perforated, just so you know. Um, so yeah, I'll just get in close there. Let's see the suede. It really like... I don't know if you can see the color change. Like, I can see it really well, and it... I mean, it's a really soft suede. So, you just gotta catch the light right. And then also on the toe box here, you got a blue 3M hit. Moving up the shoe, keep this going. Uh, pink 3M hits right there. Um, then you have a, this is actually a Nubuck 
which it's it's a really soft new book. I heck, I thought it was suede, but it's just like the length of the hairs um, is what defines new book and suede, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, see, so yeah, it's really soft though. This is like can't believe it's not butter soft type. I mean, that's quality. You can't. I can't really tell you how this shoe feels unless you have it in hand, but it feels really good. So uh, you have New Balance logo with uh, the N is 3M, and then you have backed by white and that marine blue. Um, also on the midsole, it's all white midsole with uh, a little blue hit right here. It's a little softer than the rest of the midsole. So, um, and one other thing to note, on the top of the tongue here, we have the Ronnie Fogg a little special lace lock here. Really nice detail. Uh, a lot of people have been saying this shoe is about the details and I think that is really true. Uh, I'll get the other shoe and show you the uh, the lace lock. So uh, here's the other shoe. Uh, New Balance branding on the lace lock. And yeah, so that's the other shoe. Uh, another thing that makes this a kind of kit store exclusive, I'm not sure on the wider release pair how it's going to what uh, what laces are going to come with it? Excuse me, but uh, you have these rope laces, which pull out here. Um, this is, of course, a Kith store kind of exclusive. You can see it. It is white, uh, marine blue, and pink. They look really good on the shoe. Uh, the other laces they came with are these tan ones, and then you have uh, the white pair, which has the branding on both the aglet and the actual lace, which you can see there. I know that for sure. So uh, let me know what you guys, what you'd, uh, your favorite pair of laces would be in it. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with these rope ones. I might go with the white ones, but I'm not really feeling the tan ones, so I might just save those for later or something. But yeah, so it's, uh, that's really a thing that Kiss Store exclusive. I believe they are going to be releasing some rope laces. Uh, as like a kit strike, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, the perforated new buck goes all the way up the tongue, and then you have this um, embossed 3M uh, New Balance logo, and then 1600. You might not be able to see that that well, but it is definitely there. It's kind of cool that these are like embossed and not just a tag, because uh, most 1600s, they well most New Balance clubs, I've noticed you know they just keep the simple tag on. Uh, things like the Ubique or Ubic uh, 1600 also had an altered tag, which I guess you don't see that much. I'm not quite sure. Uh, just getting into New Balance, but uh, yeah. So moving back along the shoe, uh, right here, I'm not quite sure what this is. It kind of feels like a leather for how smooth it is, but I'm guessing it's just a synthetic. I'm not quite sure. But um, then right here, another blue 3M hit. On the back of the shoe, you have this perforated luggage leather. I'm not quite sure what that means, but uh, it is a really you know, soft, smooth leather. Uh, you can see the Absorb uh, embossed in on there, and uh, New Balance branding on the back with the blue 3M hit. So uh, then, rest of the midsole, it's kind of got this little pattern here with the, I believe this is the Absorb unit. Uh, and the inside of the shoe, as you can see, kind of see that there, the Kith New Balance uh, branding on the inside, all blue inside, and then you have pink on the inside here. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what it is to shoe. Got the outsole, pink hit up here, triangles for the rubber outsole, New Balance logo. And this is, I guess, the Absorb like cap or something. Let me know about Absorb. Uh, I haven't done any research on it, but I'd, I'd like to know. So, that's pretty much what there is to the shoe, guys. Um, let me know what you thought. I am really digging this. I wore this to school today, and I expect I got the responses, I guess, or, you know, that I expected, you know, is that a girl's shoe because of the pink and bright colors? But uh, I also got, you know, from people who know about shoes, they're like, oh, that's sick, you know. But, uh, I don't really care. I love this shoe. I think it looks great and it really pops in an outfit. So, let me know what you guys thought about it. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. This has been Kickspurt. And uh, check out my other videos. Like, favorite, subscribe. And we'll catch you later, guys. Peace. What's up, guys? Uh, I just want to let you know 
that I'm going to be moving the on feed video to a separate video, but I'm going to be uploading that like right away. So be on the lookout for that in your subscription box. And um, I'm also I also wanted to let you know I'm going to post another video probably next week and then maybe in the upcoming weeks. So yeah, that's what I got for you. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I'm going to have my name right here. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm, I got some sick pictures of shoes and stuff. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's some of my personal, but I'd like to have you guys on there following me. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you later.